everyone, so today I want to talk to you about wild thornberries and I thought I'd actually already done this video, apparently I hadn't. The wild thornberries was one of my favourite children's TV shows when I was around about 9, 10 years old. I loved it. What I like first of all about it is that the entire thing is laid out in the theme tune and by theme tune I mean Eliza Thornberry is just talking. She's taken us through her family, through her parents and her siblings and she says what her parents do, they, they um, present and film a nature show and they travel around in their, their house which is like a caravan and a boat at the same time, it's very peculiar and um, the, spe the special thing about Eliza is that she can talk to animals kind of like a Dr. Doolittle kind of thing um, so it's all laid out there in the introduction even though it's not an actual theme tune, it's just her talking it's fantastic and you kind of every child at one point could say the entire thing by heart I kind of can't, I can kind of half do it when I'm listening to it, but off memory I can't really do it at all. But the program itself as an animation is absolutely brilliant. It's all about her adventures, talking to animals, the animals would get into danger. Um, a lot of it involving, for example, poachers and things. Um, and she'd try and help them and save the animals. It's nothing majorly extreme, it's not exactly scary, she's not dealing with hunters face to face 24-7. But an animal might be trapped and things like that. And it is pretty sensational. Now I was a huge animal lover when I was younger, I mean I still like animals but I was 24-7 obsessed with these creatures so for me it was very... I, honestly it could have been this program that created my obsession with the animals to be honest, I don't think it was but it's it's possible. It is very addictive and I absolutely love it and of course you have um, I, don't know, I think there was a Wild Thornberrys movie but you also have the Rugrats Go Wild which is where the Rugrats met the Wild Thornberrys and that was one of the most fantastic things ever. I was watching, I went to the cinema to see it a um, good number of years ago now um, and I was watching it thinking wow this is amazing because those were like my two favourite shows at the time and Rugrats is always going to be one of my favourite kids shows. Um, I absolutely loved it, it's really really good. I think the character of Eliza is, is, is very likeable. There isn't a quality about her which kind of made me go you're annoying. Um, her father I think is fantastic. Her mother is great and um, her sister is a bit annoying and her two brothers and by brothers I mean Darwin and Donny um, kind of weird you know <laughs> well we'll not go into that it's kind of a weird situation they have going on there with Darwin and Donny um, both of those kind of annoyed me but it was a it was a, a good annoyance you know I like to be annoyed by them because it kind of meant I was evoking more emotion than just fanatic you know so it's very very good and I do enjoy it quite a lot if you've never seen it to be honest, there aren't that many episodes on YouTube. I had a look before I, I, I sat down to do this video and there's not that many on there. There's a couple. The, the, the theme tune is on there and um, so you can you can try and speak along with it. That's always great fun. There, there's one episode. There's a couple of episodes but there's one in particular which has been uploaded in full. Life me, I can't remember which one it is. But if you type it in, it'll come up. But definitely go and check it out if you've never seen it. It's very unique. It's kind of... I was going to say it's kind of like a Dora the Explorer. It's nothing like Dora the Explorer, but it, it, it involves that element of travel, encouraging children to see the world out with their own little communities, which I think is always a great aspect. It doesn't really teach us a language as such. <laughs> but it is very fascinating and a program that I will always, always cherish. Let me know your thoughts on the Wild Thornberries. If you have any more suggestions for my 90s nostalgia shows, let me know, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!